guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is sarah and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back so today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to make a closure wig look like a frontal i bet you guys didn't know that this is a closure wig trust me they know <laughs> so yeah i'm going to show you guys how i make my closure wig look like a frontal <laughs> First of all, I just want to give a shout out to the sponsors of this video, which are Abby Hair. Thank you, Abby Hair, for sponsoring this video. You guys should please ignore my nails. A couple of them broke and I just can't get the other ones off, so please ignore that. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a closure wig to look like a frontal wig. We all know that closures are cheaper than frontals and closures are way, 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 way easier to work with than frontals but then frontals look more natural frontals look better in my opinion but then closures are just easier to work with so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to finesse and manipulate your closure to look like a frontal the hair that i'm using is from abby hair i already said that and this is their water wave hair and this is in 24 inches 150 percent density which is very full trust me it's very full it comes with a band this is just to help to secure your wig and then it comes with four adjustable pins yeah these are all just to make sure that your wig doesn't fly off <laughs> so first thing i notice with closure wigs is that closure wigs always look even though they are middle pattern like they always look like this yeah so they basically cover the front of the hair but then if you're doing if you want your closure wig to look like your frontal you honestly don't want to do that because you just defeated the purpose of making it look like your frontal so you always want to customize it and take it backwards when you're plucking you want to go backwards when you're using a hot comb or if you're using like a hair curler you always want to yeah that's what i'm talking about i already plucked the closure of this hair and yeah this is what it looks like i'm going to move it to make sure it's in the middle I didn't bleach the knots of this hair all I did was just pluck it next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to cut the excess lace and then you don't want to cut it straight because for closures you don't need to mind how you cut it because at the end of the day you're still going to cover it with the hair because it's like center pattern or side pattern or whatever but then for this one you want to make sure that you're cutting the same way that you cut a frontal i'm going to get most of this hair out of the way i'm going to be using my my butterfly hair clip just ignore this side because this is not what we're focusing on this is a closure wig so yeah so now that we have it looking like this i'm going to go ahead you don't want to cut it straight you want to cut it in zigzag patterns so now that i have cut it you guys can basically see how this thing almost me has melted into my skin but you can honestly get away with just wearing your hair like this not like this but then like putting it down and get away wearing like this but then just because i want to do little little baby hair to make it look even more natural like you don't need to put any glue or anything i'm going to use just a little bit of glue i'm going to be using the ghost bond glue yeah, I'm going to be using this one. I really, really like this glue. I've had a couple of people complain about it, but then I've honestly never had any problems with this glue. It's really affordable and it gets the job done. I'm going to take this hair back, get any hair out of the way. Most people like to clean their um, clean their makeup off of the part that they're going to put it. But then I don't like to do that because when you clean your makeup off from the part, it just makes it stay longer. Except I want my wig to like stay for a very long time this one i'm probably going to remove when i'm going to bed so um when you have like oil or something on the surface it doesn't make it it doesn't stay as strong as it would when you don't have anything on your skin i'm just putting very little and only one layer because like i said i'm not going to be leaving this overnight you guys always also want to avoid the parts that have your hair because this this is a hair glue not hair gel this is glue so you know that you want to avoid the areas that have your hair so we don't get rid of the edges that we're trying to grow 
yeah so i'm going to let it get tacky not dry not completely dry once it becomes clear i'll just apply the wig so now that it is basically dry clear except this part but i can see that it's dry i'm just going to apply the wig on honestly don't need to use glue or gel or anything like that because it's a closure wig it's going to stay anyway but i just want that extra security so that's why i'm using this now we have this looking snug it's time for us to do some baby hairs we're not going to be doing too much we're just going to be doing just a little just to give it that oomph get just I'm just trying to secure the wig once you draw this line and your hair is looking like this is your actual hair you know that you're doing it right I'm just going to keep quiet and show you guys how I do my baby hairs because I've done this in a lot of my hair tutorials and I'm sure you guys already know this is my routine so let's go. Now that I'm done doing my baby hairs and all of that, I'm just going to go ahead to, you know, apply some water to make the curls come back. It looks beautiful, don't get me wrong, it looks beautiful, one like this, but then I want the curls to pop more, so let's do that. You never want to brush your curly hair while it's dry. Yeah, it's the same way you don't want to um, comb your natural forcey hair or natural hair when it's dry. You also don't want to brush your wig when it's dry, your curly wig. This water wave hair is actually water wave because all I'm spraying on this hair is water. Water is the only thing. There's nothing. This water isn't mixed with anything. It's just water. But then look at this curl. Look. Guys. Woo. Nah. This is fire. This is bomb. When it dries, it becomes bigger. When it's wet, it becomes, you know, smaller. So don't be deceived when you wash your hair and then you think, oh, it's not true to volume or whatever no when it's wet it looks like this when it's dry it looks like this but then if you want to maintain this look like even when you so that even when you go out um and your hair gets dry because you don't want to go with wet hair like you want to maintain this look like even when your hair is dry you still want the curls to be like this you don't want to be like this i suggest using hair mousse or hair foam yeah anything th that mousse that styling mousse don't put oil on your hair guys don't don't do that <laughs> don't put oil on your 
hair hair that will help you maintain your curls once you have anything styling mousse trust me that is going to work for you Thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a thing or two if you love to see more hair videos like this let me know what you guys think about this video and if you want to see more videos like this let me know i'm going to leave all the links to abby hair in the description box below so you guys can check them out if you want their wigs this hair is live thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Ra, 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 ra,